Paper Daisy Design and today I'm in my basement with area of the house that I haven't really shown much of but there's this awkward corner uh, away from the main seating area that felt like a great place to add a day bed for extra sleeping and just extra lounging to watch TV and so here it is if you're gonna build one bed all you need is one sheet of plywood four legs a, some two by fours and some time Here's a look at the materials we're going to use to build our bed. Plywood and 2x4s, just basic building materials. For a complete guide and cut plan, please check the blog link below. For two 2x4s, we'll be cut into three pieces that are 38 inches long. Now that all your pieces are cut, it's time to add pocket holes to the base of the bed to add the apron to give it a more substantial look. You'll just make pocket holes all along the bottom, about 10 to 12 inches apart. And this will ensure a tight fit between the apron and the bed base. So you'll follow that up with adding screws into the pocket hole. And now we're going to work on the actual base of the bed. You're going to measure and mark four and a half inches from the edge. And these will be your leg supports. You're going to glue them down and then nail them to the base of the bed. And then you'll repeat this process for the other side so that you have two 2x4s to support the legs. Next we're going to add pocket holes to the 2x4 that becomes the cleat for the headrest. Adding this cleat with the pocket holes adds an extra bit of stability for the armrest or headrest as you like to call it. It's much better than just adding pocket holes to the base of the bed. The next up is probably the hardest part of the actual construction. You want to spend a good bit of time making sure that you have everything aligned properly. We found it was Helpful to measure and mark a straight line on the headrest to keep it aligned while you're working on it. And of course, using a square and a right angle clamp also helps with that fit. Now it's time to attach the actual legs. You're gonna drill a pilot hole for the threaded screw of the leg and then attach the leg brackets to the two by fours, two inches from the edge. Be sure to visit the blog post below for a complete list of materials, links, and guides. The last step in the building of the bed is to add a center support. You can either use uh, two two by fours screwed together or we had an extra scrap piece of four by four material. Just be sure to countersink the screws from the top so that you don't rip your mattress. Now it's time for the finishing details. To create a clean finish on the edge of the plywood, I added birch plywood edge banding. It is easily applied with an iron, and if it's an iron that you plan to use again for clothes and don't want to get glue on it, I would recommend covering it with aluminum foil. Once the glue is hot and applied to the plywood, you'll want to burnish it to the edge, and I just used a scrap piece of wood to do so. The edge banding I used was 7 eighths of an inch wide, and of course the plywood is 3 quarter of an inch wide. And so that required me to trim a little bit of an edge. And don't worry about getting that straight. The excess can easily be trimmed with a knife. Next, you can create a super clean finish by sanding down the edges of the plywood banding so that it creates an even surface with the plywood. With any woodworking project, I always work my way through the sandpaper, starting at like 150, 200, and then 400 to create a super smooth finish. And then I finish off with a tack cloth to remove all dust and particles. For the finish, I used a mix of special walnut and English chestnut to best match the legs that I purchased. When I'm finishing a project of this size and scale, I usually like to use a brush to spread the stain. And then once I get a section covered nicely, I wipe it down with a clean rag. The stain needed to be applied a second time to achieve a dark, rich color like the legs. Once your stain is dry, you want to be sure to add several layers of a top coat to protect your wood finish. 
I'm sure you'll find them an easy build and something you can definitely do in an afternoon. my basement, an area of the house that I haven't really shown much of. There's this awkward corner. <laughs> oh, Tucker. Sit down. Uh, so yeah, it, they're really comfortable because look, the dog joined me. <laughs> that um, is kind of separate from the main seating area. And so that is a great place to add extra lounging space and beds for when we have company. 